<laughs> that, that, is, that really is that really is first class. Hi, sorry, you caught me editing one of my popular narrowboat uh, voyage logs on YouTube, and today I'm going to show you how I record the sound that goes along with them. Before we get to the meat, uh, this is my uh, vlog guide to a uh, vlog structure. The meat being the main the main video. I've got to give a shout out to my Patreon supporters, aka Crank It Crew members. These guys are kicking it off $10 a month. Uh, Paul Bush, thank you Paul. Darren Griffin, Martin Jordan, and Carl Wood, NHS hero. Thank you Carl for doing your job. And all of you are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for supporting my videos. Back to the video. I think sound's really important. I think people will tune out if you've got bad sound and they'll forgive bad visual quality if you've got great sound. So let's go to Burnley now as I've got something wrong with my ears. It's not these, I've just got something wrong with my ears. I've got to sort it out. This vlog is all about sound. It's something I've never really admitted to and it, it's basically it's a problem to do my ears. Every year I have to have them microsuctioned and they don't do it on the NHS anymore. So I've come to Burnley, my nearest hearing centre, to get it all sorted out. And after I've done that, because we're in Burnley, I'm going to check out the Leeds and Liverpool Canal. I'm still on lockdown here in the UK, so I don't know if I've got to wear a mask when I've going to have the treatment done, we'll have to see. Well, everyone in here is wearing masks, so I've got my, mine on as well. <laughs> With the wax in my ear canals gone, it was time to go and check out the actual canal that runs through Burnley, which is the Leeds and Liverpool. God, last time I was here, on this canal itself, on my naughty lass on my on my narrow boat. Hey, how's it going? Robbie in the studio here. I'm just editing this actual video and it's a bit of a mess. Uh, the sound is really bad quality. I can hear it all now that I've had the earwax removed from my ears and it's kind of embarrassing. And there's some great tips in this video, but I've had to remove quite a lot of them. Not to worry. We'll, we'll start with one that I missed out. So here's this microphone that I'm wearing. It's called a Lavalier microphone or lapel mic because you, you affix it in this sort of area of your body. Um, as you can see I've got the microphone pointing away from me so any p -p -p -t -p -t -p sort of harsh words or sounds, harsh words, any swearing um, doesn't get um, blown out on the microphone. Because when I'm looking at editing this video I don't want to see that, I don't want to see it go up into that red bit at the top there. Can you see a little bit just went then because that means I've got to edit the sound back down again. So it's all about trying to get the best sound as you possibly can when whilst you're filming. Right, here's another bit that's a bit too windy for you to, to actually hear what I'm saying here, but I'm trying to have a com conversation with people on the towpath and it's hard to actually pick up the sound because it's a bit too windy, but also because they're a little bit too far away. So I've got to make sure that I'm close enough to them to actually pick up the conversation. Coming up against the problem again with social distancing on the towpath, um, there are a lot of people around because they're using it as a sort of exercise. And you can't tell people to back off. You can't tell people, oh, two metres, because it's just, I'm English and I'm polite. <laughs> Around the corner here towards the, um, one of the, Seventh wonders of the British inland waterways. What's known locally as the Straight Mile, that's the Burnley Embankment. Walking and talking whilst vlogging is quite difficult because you've got to make sure you are obviously keeping your head in the frame. You've also got to make sure that your voice is loud enough and not too loud because you're trying to overcompensate. And also, you've got to make sure that you're not out of breath because you don't want people to hear you go, <gasps> in between every other word or sentence you're trying to get onto to, to your film. So yeah, make sure you don't run up a steep hill. That's my advice for today. <laughs> I 
So this is it, this canal is raised about 18 metres uh, above the, the town of Burnley and yeah it's just one straight long mile of canal, that's all it is really but... Yeah I've just decided that bit, well I had to keep it in there because I wanted you to know the info, I wanted you to know the history but at the same time the sound is, is pretty terrible. The next clip the sound gets worse but I need you to hear what it's like when you elevate yourself further so if you were climbing up a steep hill um, and then reach the top and try to do some video on top of that wind even when you've got these little things covering your microphone it can definitely affect it let's just have a look at this bit now the problem with filming higher up especially if you're going on a walk and you're getting up to the top of a hill is that there is generally more wind and it's hard to, to for a mic like, like this to actually record the little tiny nuances of sound so it does affect things negatively but at least hopefully you can hear my voice and that's yeah all you need for now oh so yeah that's pretty bad on the ears wasn't it that one but um you can also see how awkward it is uh, vlogging with social distancing and on the towpath in public like a lot of urban areas with canals running through them there's generally a lot of rubbish around and this one definitely has its fair share of shopping trolleys. Another thing to think about, by the way, with using a microphone like this, is where are you going to put this, this lead? Because sometimes it can get in the way, uh, especially if you're sort of filming from down below or, or if it's just you know, hanging out there. Let's just stop that for a minute and if we go back a little bit, editing wise, what you can do sometimes is put some extra scenery over the top uh, so I've got this um, or, uh, video clip there and I've actually taken the sound off it so that's the sound track in green there and it's a little bit advanced this perhaps for some people but pretty simple really I just delete the sound on that piece of footage and then let the footage behind it that's the main soundtrack the main audio going through alternatively uh, on this next clip here, I've got the lovely scenery, um, but the sound isn't great. So what I've done at the end of this bit, where have I got it? I've recorded some um, canal atmos, ducks and flowing water. The sound from a different part of the canal that wasn't so windy to cover up the uh, wind noise that ruined it the first time. Like this. Perhaps you've got a series of clips that you really wanted to put together as a montage or something like that and you wanted to keep the original audio but then later found out that the original audio was mostly <laughs> Well, this is what happens to me a lot and this is why I use my own music to cover up a lot of uh, wind noise sometimes, especially when I'm cruising along, that sort of, you know, when things are moving, you want some music, don't you? So I use GarageBand, there's lots of other programs I'm sure but this one suits me and I just either record my guitar, it's the blue tracks down here, or I just program some beats and things. This one's called Industrial Fairy Tale and uh, yeah, it works with the, the footage I've got for this video anyway. So here we go. found a boat, found a narrow boat, and I've reached the end of the straight mile, the Burnley embankment, and it's turned, time to turn back. So as these lovely little duckies come towards us, I have to say goodbye. Thanks for watching, and keep on cranking it. I, ironically, I have very narrow ear canals, so um, I do have a problem with uh, just the, the wax gets stuck in there. And um, if I don't use enough olive oil, to soften it up and it does become a problem. Don't give me any tips about Otex or anything like that because I won't listen to you. Unless you're a hearing expert and then, and then I will. <laughs> I hope this video has helped you. Uh, I think what I've learned from it is uh, 
not to face the wind when I'm wearing a lapel lavalier microphone and to always sort of to make sure I turn away from it if I have to film in the wind. Uh, otherwise, just try to avoid it as much as possible. I mean, you'll probably know if you've been watching my videos a long time that I hate the wind generally. It's the worst kind of weather for when you're when you're on your narrow boat. It's great to be back on my, my narrow boat, um, but um, can't actually move it for a while. Not until um, I'm given the go ahead from the BBC to get filming, and also the Canal River Trust, who uh, actually allow us to to move around the system. Right now, at this current point of time, you can only move on a day trip and then got to go back to your home mooring. But I've not got a home mooring because I'm a continuous cruiser. It's all very confusing and I don't want to get into it. So I'm just going to say, keep on cranking, stay off the beaten track, uh, stay healthy, and I will see you on the cut one day, hopefully. Cheers for watching. Bye-bye.